Hello! Today uh, we are trying out the game, this time in English. My boyfriend Miguel is with me. Hello! And uh, for us both to understand it better, we do it in English. We never tried out this game before, so let's just jump into it. Yeah, let's see how it goes. I mean, so, uh, the, the, the trailers were kinda interesting, so maybe it's a fine game. Let's see. Let's see, a new game. Press any button. Yeah, so this when this sign appears, then we have a checkpoint and then it will save. Yep. Okay, so it starts. There was a country, let's call it Russia. <laughs> we have a saying in Russia that goes like this there is no winter in the kingdom of hope. Okay. <laughs> and believe me, it's less than 10 degrees all year round here. Okay. Quite cold. Uh, yeah, kinda. My name is Mariska. I know the world from Hungary to Kamchatka. I know it because I transport goods in my truck, the Firebird. Okay, so the basically the truck is named Firebird. Okay. I hardly earn a living. I just manage to survive. On good days, I can set a little aside. But on bad days, I have barely enough to pay for gas. Maybe one day I can leave the kingdom of winter and finally find a bit of hope. Maybe today is the day. Nope. We like you, Mariska, we really do, but the answer is yet. The rules are the same for everyone. You don't leave the Kai without repaying Turkin. I paid him back. You pay him back for the truck itself, sure, but there's still the interest. Okay, so now we can choose from different options. It would be how did you find me? Come on then. When are you going to rough me up? Fine, I get it. I'll go back to Tsavostok. I will say the second option, like make yourself a bit... Mm -hmm. Tough? Tough, yeah. And let's try with the second option. Come on, then when are you going to rough me up? I said we like you, Mariska. Don't be like that. Why did you tie me up then? Turgin said, tie her up and make sure she doesn't do this again. We're just following orders. So now we ask, how did you find me? How did you find me? A GPS tracker hidden under the truck? No, we just waited here. There's only one road heading south out of Mitsakabos. And you're not going to risk going off-road in, in that old rust bucket of yours. Hey, leave the firebird out of this. Fine, I get it. I'll go back to Tsavos. The pair exchange a smirk as they set you free. Your legs tingle as the blood rushes back into them. The firebird awaits you in the darkness of the frozen night. We search your truck. You understand. No contraband, no hidden passengers. And the hardest drug we found was your coffee thermos. You've earned your reputation as a good little girl. Normally, we take a hard payment in whatever we find, but this time... He continues to stare at you, waiting for something, you know, the look. What does bribe mean? Uh, to give him something in exchange, like to, 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 to buy he, your, your... 
your your freedom like you give money okay. or something else to okay to buy so his, his benefit so do we take the first option or the second option like give him nothing or give him a bribe i mean we can give him nothing yeah you can we have him. nothing <laughs> yeah so <laughs> let's try with give him nothing yeah let's try let's try that's all i've got do you really think i'd be here otherwise if you don't pay me for my work it will be your truck he yanks on your rear bumper with a crowbar prying it off with a loud screech <gasps> no your truck was by one ouch leave my truck alone what did it ever do to you deep down you wish it had been you instead of your beloved firebird oh no you get into the cab and angrily slam the door everything seems to be as you left it your radio your map your cd okay time to head back to the kingdom of winter okay now we can press this and see a map a tiny map i think that there comes a long adventure so we just have this option so we go here yeah to repair the truck i presume let's see Hopefully the music is not too loud. Let's let's see. I mean, maybe because we are playing with with, with two headphones right now, mm -hmm. and in the headphone sounds the sound the, the volume divided and it's quite low. But maybe in the recording it's quite quite hard right now. Now can we check that? That we cannot check it right now. That we will have to check it afterwards. But did you not? Did you not uh, check with the check music before? that sounded? But right now was sounded a bit a bit stronger. Maybe we will have to check it out, uh, guys. So uh, let's see. Uh, this is all about trying and, and, and trying. Yeah, trying and improving. Yep. Okay. Where are the Pringles? Here are the Pringles. So Tsavotsk Depot. Mariska, there you are. I was waiting for you. I told you I was leaving for good. Yes, but I thought that w that was another one of your bad jokes. That's gotta be the first time you have spotted irony somewhere, I Ivan. Unfortunately for me, I was being completely serious. <laughs> Ivan laughs with you, not completely sure he understood. You need any? Ivan looks around furtively, as if worried people might be watching. You get out of your truck so he can speak to you. You couldn't see her from the cab, but Ivan isn't alone. A young girl in traditional rural attire stands next to him. I picked her up off the side of the road last night. I don't know what to do with her and I really need to go look after my sick mother. And you looked after her for a while. Okay. Her skin is as fresh as a daisy. Her clothes are traditional, made from pure white fabric. She is far from home. You've told her about this at, at least, right? Told my mom. The girl. Ivan raises an eyebrow and shrugs. I think we will end up doing it. So let's try this. Okay. I'm doing this for you, not her. Ivan doesn't have a chance to thank you. Dimitri is heading straight for you. Ah, Mareska, back already? Who'd have thought it? Mareska is in trouble with Turgin. Let's talk about this in... Turgin? Private. 
Sí, didn't tell you, Ivan. Andre and Nikolai caught her, tried it, trying to make a break for it. As you can imagine, Turgin didn't take it very well. At this rate, all of Zavotsk will know by noon. The situation is getting out of hand. So you are officially one of Turgin's like lacays now. Don't be so full of yourself. With all you've done, he's furious. And you know what he's like when he's angry. I've got a vision. One day it will me uh, handing out assignments. By working for Turgin? Poor Dimitri, this won't end well. An icy silence hangs over the depot. Let's get down to it. What does he want from me? You don't go disappearing before having paid your debts, Martiska. Prove to Turgin that you're serious about paying him back. Find a big contract, equal to a few deliveries at least. If you don't get some work soon, he'll have you finish paying him back some, w some other way. <clears throat> He wants to sell my organs or something? My lungs can do off a lot given how much I've smoked. <coughs> the fire bed should be enough. You can't do that. Of course we can. You should know better than anyone that our trucks are worth more than our people. But I've already paid most of it off and I need it to work, I won't be able to pay Turgin back at all without it. Dimitri sneers and gets back to work. But the message is clear, you have to find a contract and fast. Good luck Mariska, my mom needs me, I have to go take care of her. Ivan runs to his truck and drives off. There you go kid. The end of my miserable career. I can get you a job. You start in surprise. It's the first time you have heard her speak. She has a job. Scarcely able to believe it, you walk behind the firebird with the young girl out of sight of any pr prying eyes. So, tell me everything. Where do you want to go? To my village, far to the north. What do you want to haul? Food. Okay, that seems legal at least. How far? Quite far. You start pessimistically estimating fuel costs. Does this village have a name? We just call it the village. Sounds like some podunk town in the middle of nowhere. Is there a road that goes to this village? Yes, that's how I got here. You got any money? She hands you some crumbled bills. Wow. They are so old and torn. It's a pittance, barely enough to pay for gas to the next town. Is that all you have got? She looks at you and not sadly. You know, I'm trying to earn a living here, right? This isn't even enough to cover the fuel it would take to get to your village. Her eyes fill with tears. Do you have any family who, who could help? The village is my only family. Is there gas in your village? I don't know. How do you do they keep themselves warm with wood? Do they have electricity? She looks at you tearfully. Your village doesn't have a bigger budget. What do you mean? 
more mommy you want food for your village i want food from i want food for mariska and for the firebird too we could give you some pearls pearls what kind of pearls there wow now those are valuable but also illegal they might be illegal but a part of you starts counting what those pearls could get you in your head white tiger what they are huge ferocious beasts that can devour even the most seasoned hunter and they are white as snow no but i know what they are now that's very very illegal it's big trouble but it's also the only way to quickly pay off your debt and regain your freedom okay i'll take the pearls the young girl's face brightens don't tell anyone about them don't even mention the word pearls say apples instead got it the deal is struck the girl nods i am a risk and my truck is called the firebird i am vasilisa looks like you have a new customer where's the cargo we are moving uh, i don't have it yet is there a market nearby a shadow crosses your face you realize you won't be leaving anytime soon follow me there's one nearby so now we are back at the, at the map we can choose this meat market no i mean what are you thinking about the game right now opinions so, i so like the style of the game yeah it's kind of cool and relaxing it's quite relaxing a large market open to the freezing winds there's almost no one here at this early hour see uh on the a corner down left was yeah. the sign so we have a checkpoint mm -hmm. you walk to the covered stands the girl doesn't seem to feel the cold they sell food here yes and they don't even need freezers to keep it cold yeah the <laughs> basically that we were talking about earlier with your with your uh, with my family yeah and the, right, because they were without e electricity because of the, the snowstorm yeah and they <laughs> said that we that they could put the, the food out of the fridge and, and, and just then, the balcony because it was so cold yeah <laughs> i mean minus 10 degrees is completely perfect for maintaining yes. things frozen <laughs> the meat is frozen solid but these are large cuts ready for butchering you'll need it on pel pellets is that really edible what do you eat in your village pine cones Animal shaped animals. Animal shaped animals are pretty to look at but harder to transport. A sinister voice rings out behind you as you look for a merchant. Ha! Mariska, my favorite tracker. You turn and immediately recognize the speaker. What luck to see you here, so early again. How unlucky you always are, Mariska. I've just given a very, very interesting job to our good in friend Ivan. What about you? How goes your prospecting? Oh, Oops. sorry, that was too quick. Yes, sorry. extremely <laughs> too quick. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've already paid you more than the price of the truck itself. That's generally how a loan works. You glower at him. There is a thin line between success and failure, Mariska. You should step out of your comfort zone, a resourceful girl like you. I don't want to talk to you, I want to talk to that merchant. And I'm in charge of the market sellers here who wants to talk to the monkey when they can talk to the organ grinder instead who knows i'd probably have more luck by finding someone honest but you're talking to me what are you here for we want to buy some food 
Oh, what a cutie. Is she your sister? Twergin, you're talking to me, not her. So, she is your sister. Now, child, you know how to be nice, don't you? You need to be nice. It's a hard world out there these days. You see, Mariska, follow your sister's example. Be nice. Are you deaf with one foot? Turgin claps his hands. Let's get down to business. How much are you looking to spend? But Silisa rummages through her pockets and pulls out her crumpled rubles. You feel betrayed when you see these are the same rubles she tried giving you earlier. She doesn't actually have any money. She wasn't planning on paying you. Turgin takes a bill and looks at it suspiciously. These are Soviet rubles, child. You think I'm a collector or something? Soviet, Russian, isn't it all the same? Ha 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 ha. Tears of laughter run down Turgin's cheeks. This girl is my customer. Turgin bursts out laughing, huge tears rolling down his cheeks. Oh, little girl. Please, no. I'm so scared of the competition. The men around you laugh with Turgin. And so this customer is how you plan to repay me? There's a big payoff at the end of this, I promise. We just want a few pellets of meat. So, what are you going to pay with? Uh, with apples? Apples? I take rubles, dollars if needed. What? This contract of Ivan's? Food for a luxury hotel. He's going south his where it's warm. Food, hmm. I'd like to know where to find Ivan's family. And why should I talk about the private life of one of my men? He asked me to check up on his mother and seems he's already left. True, he told me things weren't good. That's why I gave him this contract. My goodness, is that a heart beating behind those fatty walls? Don't spread it around. My reputation would be ruined. So where's his mother? I'm going to need a favor. What do you think I am, a delivery boy? Just a small favor. What do you want in exchange? Turgin holds out a sealed letter bag. Give this to Dimitri. Don't open it. If you open it or lose it, you'll soon find out why all your fellow away, uh, fellows obey me like they do. You take the letter back. And hurry up and find a contract, a lucrative one. With this girl's business will soon be repaid, I promise. So, so we have to go back here yeah. to the depot. To, st to talk with Dimitri. Mm -hmm. You enter the depot where the Firebird is usually parked, where you started. Turgin is an ass. Don't, don't buy the... Uh, don't buy the hand that fits you, Mariska. What are we, mice? We should form a union and shake things up a bit. And why not a revolution while we are at it? You were born a hundred years too late, Mariska. Hey, can someone lend me some money? One of the truckers who just won some rubles in a game of Durak hands you a bundle of worn bills. There isn't even enough to pay for a full tank of gas. You hand the money back, they have nothing. They shouldn't be the ones giving you money. Okay, I give it to Dimitri, not open it. Dimitri, come here. 
Dimitri stops his game of Duak and joins you in the corner of the depot. What to, What do you want? You hold out the bag. Dimitri takes it, looking at it suspiciously. You didn't open it, did you? What do you take me for, a thief? Now it's up to Turgin to keep up his end of the bargain. Okay, now we go back to the meat market. A large market open to the freezing ruins. Turgin waits for you, hands stuffed in his pockets. I gave the bag to Dimitri. Turgin nods. Ivan's family. <coughs> Ivan's family, family lives at 27 Sapotskaya. A big apartment complex. Quick to keep up your side of the bargain. An excellent quality in, uh, in business dealings. Maybe you should learn from my example. Okay, and here we go. To 27 Savotskaya. You drive next to a huge concrete building, ravaged by the cold. It's depressing. Ivan's truck, the Grey Wolf, is parked in front of the entrance to number 27. You look well next to the truck, Kev. There are piles of boxes in the back of the truck. It's food. The Grey Wolf, why the name? Guess it's meant to impress people and the firebird. Russians love the name. I chose it because it's good for business. You are not Russian. I'm Russian until you can prove otherwise. But see, Lisa runs her fingers over the gray wolf whirling on the truck. Are you afraid of wolves? I am the in the old legends, the gray wolf was Ivan's advisor. No one knows those legends. But Siberia is full of grey wolves and Russia is full of Ivans. Coincidence? Okay, so what do we do, Miguel? No. Uh -huh. Do you want to lock? pop the lock on the truck no. to open Ch it? I Let's don't do want to get more into trouble. Do you want to get into no, trouble? No, I ah. don't want to get more into trouble. Okay, then enter 27. So let's play safe and enter 27. Let's play honest. <laughs> let's play honest, let's try. You climb the concrete steps where the coal penetrates like an invisible snake. You stop in front of the door to Ivan's family's flat and knock. Mm. Areska, what are you doing here? The, the contract Togin gave you, I won it. Mariska, I need this contract. The girl's village needs food. I'm going to take the rations from your contract and then give them to the village. No, Turgin will flay you alive. And these rations belong to a big lion. This is serious. They can manage without a few rations. Oh, please, a fancy hotel with a pool and a jacuzzi. I highly doubt they are struggling. Ivan remains silent. You can just say it was stolen. If I do so, this will be my last contract. No, it won't. I'll give you mine. What are you still doing here? Yes, my mother is unwell. I'm worried. I came to check on her before I leave. He <coughs> looked over his shoulder. The bed has been pulled into the center of the room, which is pierced by a narrow draught of icy air. You hear her coughing. I'll put her in my truck and we'll go to Moscow when the contract is complete. Maybe even somewhere else. That's why I need the money. No, up, down. What's wrong with your mother? Yeah, let's interest, interest ourselves mm -hmm. a bit more. What's wrong with your mother? The illness that everyone here gets eventually. With that huge open pit mind. You remain silent. You know everyone gets sick. That's the price of survival here. 
Can I see her? She speaks? This child won't harm your mother, Ivan. Perhaps some of her youth might rub off on the old woman. <laughs> That's the moment when she says, This kid won't harm your mother, and then the kid takes a knife and starts no, 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 stabbing no, no. the mother. No, don't. <laughs> I mean, they don't hurt her, just <laughs> cured her. <laughs> oh, let's see what happens. The apartment is filled with a moist, musty smell. Even the firebird's cap seems more cheery than this. But Silisa approaches the old woman and looks at her solemnly. The coughing seems to subside at her touch, or perhaps it's just your imagination. But Silisa opens the cupboards and inspects their contents. I can hear her, but I need some sage. Are you going to tell me who this girl is? My customer. There's no sage here. <coughs> Let's go find some sage then. Okay, the only choice we can do is this. We're going, Ivan. Maybe we'll come back later. You take care to avoid slipping on the stairs as you leave the building. Okay, okay, let's go back choice. to the market first. Large market open to the wind and the cold. Look for some sage. There's a merchant selling dried herbs. We're looking for some sage. I see you leave. You smile at the merchant. He tears off a leaf and holds it out to you. Let's go back. Okay, enter, enter 27. We want to play honest. Ivan opens the door again. Vasilisa cracks an egg into a bowl and mixes it with oil, sage and honey. What are you making there? A cake? Vasilisa opens Ivan's mother's night dress. She applies the poultice and speaks words in an unknown tongue. Ariska, I don't like this at all. Ivan, be quiet. I feel better already. What? Can you speak again? Yes, by the way, I should get to cooking. It's fine, Mama. Don't leave a finger. He kneels at her bedside. Vasilisa washes her hands. She has a strange mystical aura about her. Ivan, your cargo. Take it. But don't forget that you owe me some contracts if I ever get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. I won't be able to protect you if Turgin gets hold of you. I don't need anyone, Ivan. You leave the apartment and open the Grey Wolf. So we played honest and we get the things from the truck. In an honest way, because we no, could have broken way, the, the truck and get it. Using a forklift, it takes you just a few minutes to move the cargo into the Firebird. Well, we got the food. Let's get going, Vasilisa. And that's the start of our journey. Yeah. So starts the journey. Farewell, Tsavotsk. May you quietly freeze inside desolation. There are good people there. You can... Tell me that again when you have met at least one. I met you. I'd like to be a good person. Come on, let's go. The desire to be a good person is what makes good people good. Your heart is heavy from a past that I will never know. But the past is only half of existence. Don't be so optimistic. The chill in Sabbat doesn't come from the frosty wind, but from the ice of our frozen hearts. Kinda cool, kinda cool the start. I like this game so far. I'm liking it too. I mean, we have to check what we need to to be resupplying all the time, mm -hmm. from what I see. But it's getting in a kinda cool way. Yeah, I like the, the, how the game... And the atmosphere is quite yeah, good. Yeah, I like the atmosphere. 
the, the art style. Let's see, we reached a roadblock. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that I would like would be voices on the characters instead of me uh, to, to double them. <laughs> to yeah, dub that's them. That's good, that's why I have you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a barrier across the road, a checkpoint. Should we stop? Stop, just yeah, stop. <laughs> We're not in the in the We don't one. want to destroy <laughs> the, the truck. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> you stop in front of the barrier. A guard comes out from a small heated cabin. Privet, what are you going? Where are you going? What's going on? Is it not still Russia on the other side of the barrier? It's certainly not the cry uh, anymore. So yes, it's a bit like another country. Are you lost? No, we need to go north. So, you know where you're going. Good. And why are you traveling north? The second one. Yes. I'm delivering food for my employer. Oh, why didn't you say so? He heads to the back of your truck to double check your cargo. Fortunately, you told him the truth, more or less. Mm hmm. What is your destination? The first yeah. one. Due north, they have a base along the side of the road. Noted. Be careful. Safe travels. He lets you through. Perfect. You mutter to yourself. It went fine, didn't it? I said too much. Jodin is gonna show up and that guy will spill everything. You continue driving. I mean, that's what we could call white lies. Because was half of the truth was simply... Yeah, we're going to deliver food to an employee. Yeah, but it did not. It was the truth, but not uh, all of with, it with more details. So, what do we do? Left to it seems a cabin or to a bridge. I would want to do the cabin. The, yes, then we finish the scene. Let's see. You don't like silence, not as much as I like the frozen brains. The what? Vasilisa, I forgive you for your antique rubles and your old wife's tales, but the frozen brains are sacred. Everyone here worships them. I don't want to insult your beliefs. I'm very sorry. As penance, now you have to listen to the entire album. There's more? What do you mean more? We're only on the third song. <laughs> Open the glove compartment. You'll find everything there. Oh my goodness, so bad has to be that music for the girl to be like, Is there more? Is there more? <laughs> Vasilisa suddenly understands, looking stunned. Ah, it's just uh, everything is so like a lingering mist at the start of spring. You should consider becoming a progressive cold wave critic, Megara. You'd be very successful. Okay, your fuel reserves diminish by one. Okay, so it seems with every step we take, we, we lose one fuel. Kevin! Yep. The pines are tall and block out the sky, but they also protect against the cold. The fiber threads between the silent trees, a dense fog gathers either side of the earthen track. You arrive in a clearing, w clearing with a small wooden cabin. It looks like the door is open. The road forks here, a tarmac road to the right and the track leading to the forest on the left. Two roads, which one should we take? Listen to your gut. You sigh. I want to investigate. You get out of the firebird. A cloud of blackbirds rises into the air as you slam the door. You approach the cabin, walking across the damp leaves. Hello? Is anyone there? Everything is quiet. <gasps> and then a bear comes, sauntering out of the hut. <gasps> it stands on its hind legs and roars. You're terrified. 
you have ha had weapons pointed at you before, but this ferocious creature is much more terrifying. We may not care what I oh. roared. Oh, no. Okay, look. So we can try to shout. This is an option where we can take yeah, those try two. It. Shout. Let's see what happens in the loudness con test you lose its stands on its hind legs and roars loud enough to make your insides quiver so should we run back to the car or should we lock the ourselves cabin. the cabin try the cabin okay lock yourself in the cabin i hope we don't die ah. <laughs> dive into the cabin slam the door shut on the other side the bear roars and scratches at the truck <gasps> No, we destroyed the truck. Child. You hide in the corner of the cabin and try to make yourself in... I did not see the word. Uh, time passes and you don't hear the bear anymore. Vasilisa opens the door. Silhouetted by the sunlight, she looks like an angel as she stands in the doorway. It's gone. The misunderstanding has been resolved. What misunderstanding? He was going to eat me and I didn't agree. You were... So Cared of each other. You sigh. The poor cabin is in a bad shape, but now you see its purpose. It's an old logging cab. The main road leads to the right. A piece of yellow plastic in the corner of the room catches your eye. Cherry cans. Your misadventure wasn't in vain. Cool. They are mostly full. You've got enough to refill the fiber. Now, yes, we refilled it by three. Perfect. You return to the truck. You continue driving. Okay, what about we stop here today? Yeah, and let's get to sleep in this cabin. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I mean, let's see how we can save. Back to main menu. But I would say that we we'll stop here and see what the road takes us in the next episode. Yeah, let's see it. Thank you for watching.